Greg here, Premier Fitness Systems. What I want to talk to you guys today about is some great exercises to help loosen up those hips. A lot of us have a desk job where we sit eight, 10 hours a day, five days a week. Obviously the body's not made for that. So before we exercise, one of the most important things we do after we warm up, really want to get those hips loosened up so that they're moving properly for everything else that we're doing in the gym. So what I've got today is four exercises that are great, kind of showing you how to loosen up hips, glutes, kind of hamstring area right around here, just to kind of get things moving better. So what we're gonna do today, first exercise, we're gonna do a, a dynamic exercise. It's a lateral dynamic hamstring exercise. So what we're doing on this one, is so we got that imaginary string between the toe and the knee, so my leg stays nice and straight a little bit of balance on this exercise. So I'm gonna keep my core nice and tight. What I'm doing is reaching across the body, back and forth, really getting good stretch down that lateral hamstring on there. Now all of you guys probably don't have access to a physical therapy type cage like this, so same thing you can do in the gym. Just put that foot up on the bench, same thing, keeping that stomach tight getting that same effect on there. So whether it's a bench, you can put a chair up against the wall, whatever, it's something you can do at a hotel room, you know, put your foot up on the bed. It all works the same, it's just a matter of doing it. Next exercise I'm gonna show you guys today, we're gonna do an alternating hip stretch. So what we're gonna do is start off in plank position on this one. Now for some of you that have really tight hips, you're gonna have a hard time getting your feet all the way out here. So one of the things you can do is take like a Reebok step to kind of bring yourself up a little bit higher so that you're still able to get the stretch. But what we want to do on here is we're going to kick the foot out. I want to keep my left knee kind of hugging into my body, almost like I'm coming kind of down in a push up, which is going to really give me some good stretch in here. I might also feel some good stretch across the other hip. I'm going to bring it back to neutral and then we're going to alternate on here. Once again, bringing that right knee in holding for two, three seconds, just kind of alternating on here. It's a good one I like to do maybe five, seven on each side, just kind of get those hips loosened up. Next exercise, great exercise, kind of getting the hamstrings as well as the calves in here really loosened up. It's called the inchworm. Basically what we're gonna do on this exercise, starting off plank position, feet almost touching. We're gonna keep the legs locked out. I wanna walk my feet up so that when I push my heels down, I get about an inch or two worth of stretch in my calves. Looking back at my knees, I wanna hold for about two seconds, and then I'm gonna walk back to plank position. Keep my core tight, butt comes up, legs locked out, holding that stretch. Each time, my goal is to bring my toes in a little bit closer than last time. Once again, this is a great one that you can maybe do a set of six to 10 in a row. Really good at loosening things up for you. Uh, the last exercise today we're gonna do for loosening things up, they're called break dancer. So what you're gonna do on this one, kind of go into a plank position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kick your leg out. So I want that imaginary string to the toe. Even if you can't bring your foot up that far, I want you to hold that stretch. I'm gonna kind of lean a little bit so we work that butt through that lateral hamstring, getting that IT band, kind of alternating on here. Once again, doing about five or 10 on each side, getting some good stretch. These are all good exercises. And just after warm up, right before you work out, kind of throw these in for five minutes and loosen things up.